Belle is trying to climb the fence. Dude! You are so funny! I haven't had a cat do this in forever. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to be telling you all my goals for 2024. This is everything from my horses, the goats, this YouTube channel, and my personal life. I haven't really ever made goals for the year before, but I remember having one New Year's resolution. Hi, Belle. She climbed the fence to come and join me. You're so naughty. That resolution was to join the worship team at my church, but I was 13, so that was a big goal. And I remember in either March or April, I auditioned for the worship team and I made it and I was so excited. So let's get into my goals for this year. Hi guys. It's so muddy, I know. Maui, hi. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with my goals for the horses. So my first goal is to spend time with the horses every day, unless I'm gone. Whether that's groundwork, training, riding, any of that. The next goal is to work on further training America. She is turning two this spring. So we're gonna really try and start getting into some more training. My sister Isla is definitely too big to ride her, but she has mentioned to want to do a little bit of showing with her this year. So maybe Isla will be able to take America to her first show this summer. The next thing for me is I want to do less showing this year. Last year, I thought that I was going to really want to start getting into showing, but I've realized that I am not really too into the competitive side of the horse world. I really just like to spend time with my horses here at home, take them on trail rides. Showing isn't my favorite thing to do, and it can definitely be really stressful. So I'm probably going to do the 4-H show with Selena, but I won't be going crazy with showing this year. Okay, this has been something that I've been wanting for a long time, a round pen. A round pen would make things so much easier. Okay, the next one. I have been wanting a donkey for a while now. It would be a cute little friend for America. So maybe sometime this year I will be getting a donkey, but this also leads me to the next one, which is a new horse. I definitely think that this summer I will be ready for a new project. My next horse that I want, I either want to be a project pony, so an untrained horse or pony that I buy, and I train them for a good six months to a year, and then I sell them to their new forever home. Either that or I want to get a young horse, maybe a yearling or a horse that's two years old that I train on my own and have as my forever horse. This has been something that I've been wanting to do like literally my whole life. I don't know if it'll happen this year, but eventually. Belle is trying to climb the fence to get in here with me right now. You can't climb that one, it's too high. Girl, now she's pretending she wasn't doing it. And the last goal for my horses is I want to spend time organizing all of the tack I do do a good organize about once a year, but I wanna totally clean out anything that I don't need. I really don't have a ton of tack, but I definitely have a good amount. So I wanna go through all of that and I will probably be making a video of that eventually. Here's a treat. <laughs> You're such a sweet girl. I love her. <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't had a cat do this in forever, so I think it is so sweet that he climbs on my back. You're such a sweet boy. <laughs> you are so kind. Okay, this is probably gonna be very chaotic, but the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the goats. I have 13 goats. I have the three bucklings in here, eight does, a buck, and a weather. These goats are mine. Over time, I have invested a lot in them. Dude! But I have a few goals for my goats for this year. So my eight does are all pregnant. I'm so excited for more baby goats. But one of my goals is to get all of those babies registered, which might be pretty hard because there's still a lot of paperwork and work to do for doing that. And it does take more work to register them, but in the end, I can make a bigger profit off of them. And they will probably most likely be easier for me to sell. And I also wanna get them all sold 
because I had some babies this fall and I was able to sell most of them. I think there were 10, but these three guys that I'm in here with right now are the ones that I was not able to sell because they are boys and not everyone wants the boys. I don't know what the plan is with them yet if I'm just gonna keep them or I could just sell them along with the babies this spring. Hi. <laughs> you are so sweet. Moana went to go chase away, I don't know what. So my last goal for the goats is to set up some kidding stalls. Because we have eight does that are having babies this spring, that is a lot of babies. We always separate them into pens, but this is the first time all eight of them are giving birth around the same time. We will need lots of kidding pens for when we have... Don't knock it over. For when we have all of those babies, I know this is chaos. So I will definitely need dad's help with that one, but somewhere in this barn, we will probably have lots of kidding pens for when we have baby goats. She's giving me the puppy dog eyes because she wants attention. And I wasn't telling her to go away, but I wasn't petting her either. And then these guys are eating their hay. Those eyes, you can't say no to them. Moana has the puppy dog eyes down. She's like asleep right now. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about just the other animals in general. America will be joining me for this, I guess. But the first thing is I want to try and keep this barn cleaner. It has lots of cobwebs in it and they are really hard to keep up with. But I think even just keeping the cobwebs out will make it so much cleaner. We always do a deep clean before and after winter in that barn. Sweet America decides that her bathroom spot is right by the gate in that barn. She always has a designated bathroom spot and it is in the worst spot possible. She wants Maui to leave and he's not leaving. She thinks she's the boss of everyone. The next thing I want to do is possibly hatch some ducklings this year. I think that would be so much fun. We have two ducks left, a female and a male. So if I took some eggs and put them in the incubator, we could have some ducklings, which I think would be so much fun. I'm sure dad would like it too because dad loves the ducks. And I'm sure if I put some duck eggs in the incubator, he would be totally fine with that. You want a treat? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna come over here for the last thing in that category. Whoa, <laughs> a bunch of snow just fell on me. Okay, they're all down there kind of sleeping, except for Gertie. Let's go say hi to Gertie quick. Hi. She's the sweetest girl. So the reason I'm in here is to talk about Gertie's baby. This guy over here, his name is Tank because he's so big we had to pull him out of his mother because he was just that big. One of my goals for this year is to make this guy friendly. I can already tell that this guy is gonna be super friendly. He's definitely shown a lot of interest in me. The other cows could care less that I'm here, but this guy is wanting to be around me. He's very curious and interested in me. My goal is to make him friendly this year so that eventually we'll be able to sell him as a pet. We did that with Gertie's last bull calf. His name was Peanut. We actually sold him to a photographer and I wanna do the same thing with this guy. Okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about is my YouTube goals. I started my YouTube channel about three weeks ago and it's crazy that I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I try really hard to post a video every single day and that is definitely helping me grow very quickly, which my first goal for the YouTube channel is to post every day consistently all throughout the year. Unless if I'm on vacation, of course, I'm definitely gonna try and post every day. Now my next goal was to hit 3,000 subscribers subscribers within the year, but I definitely think that I'm going to hit that pretty soon, maybe in the next month, which is crazy to think about. But my goal before I started this channel was to hit 3,000 subscribers within the year. The next thing is to reach out to more YouTubers. I have two really good YouTuber friends which is Eden from Wildly Equestrian and Ava from the Bardsley fam. But the reason I'm friends with those people is because they have reached out to me. And so I wanna make it a goal to reach out to more YouTubers this year. Hi, Spots. Don't knock the camera down. Spots has her head over the fence here. You see her nose? Girl, <laughs> do you need something? Okay, she's literally right in the way, so I'm gonna hold the camera now. You wanna be here while I talk? I don't even remember where I was. 
Girl! <laughs> you are so funny! These animals have so much character. And my last goal, of course, is to get monetized. So I'm really hoping that will happen. It seems like it will happen in this year, but you never know. The next thing I want to talk about is more of my personal goals. This one is more for the summertime or at least when the weather is warmer, but I want to take prayer walks at least once a week. When I take a prayer walk, I'm just walking around the field, giving my worries and everything to God. Even though I pray every day, I just really love doing prayer walks because it allows me more time to spend with God. And when I'm doing it, I'm out in nature and I always feel really connected to God when I'm outside. So this last thing I probably really need to work on, but it is saving money. Lately, when I make money off of something, I've basically just been reinvesting it back into my businesses, which I guess is good, but if I just keep reinvesting and not saving, that's probably not going to end great. So this year, I want to make it a goal to not buy a ton of animals. Those are all of my goals this year, and I know that is a lot but I'm excited to look back on this video in the end of the year. If you enjoyed this video, if you haven't already, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below what your goals for this year are. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. The first thing, spots, don't play with that. You ruined my angle. <laughs> you want them to see you? You wanna be the star? I'm sure everyone wants to see you. There you go, is that what you want? Okay, I might need to like totally move because this is not working.